When you're in a combat situation, keep this in mind. There's three basic zones. Let me talk about a principle here. There's an outside zone, which is here. This is basically where you're going to be executing your long-range techniques, such as long-range kicks. Now, I'm not going to do karate kicks. I'll come in and I'll hit somebody just below the kneecap on the inside. And notice when I'm hitting, I like to hit with shoes or I'll hit with the shin bone. Now, turn inside this way so they can see. Where I'm hitting actually is just below the kneecap on this little joint, coming up on an angle like that. There's little nerves in there and that really hurts. I'm not trying to pinpoint hitting the knee. That's very difficult. You see a lot of self-defense schools that say side kick the person's knee. Throw a front kick at the groin. Throw your fingers in their eyes. That takes incredible, incredible accuracy to be able to execute those types of techniques. You folks spar here in class, you know how hard it is just to hit this big old body with a kick. Not to mention pinpoint hitting somebody's kneecap or pinpoint hitting uh, the groin area or the, something as small as the eyes. It's very difficult. Square up against me again. So out here you've got these types of movements. I'm just going to make you a little familiar with some of the combat type stuff you might execute in a street altercation. I may come in and kick just below the kneecap. Notice I'm not kicking on an angle. I'm coming up sort of slicing it. Sometimes I'll come in with the side of the foot and I'll strike what we call an obstruction right against the shin bone and that's very painful about four to six inches below the kneecap. One of my favorite targets in a street situation is I like to go dead center right in this lat uh, lateral quadricep, the one right in the center. Everybody see what I'm saying? The internal one rather. So now watch. From here I'll step up, I'll cock the leg, and I'll bury the hip right dead center of that quadricep. That'll really kill the person's leg. When this leg goes, because it's so painful, usually the other one goes as well. Sometimes I'll come in right on that hip socket, just drill it in, pow. This is the outside zone. What can you do on the outside? Choke up a little bit. Now you have what we call the medium zone. Here's where you throw your long range punches. These are long range punches and your short range kicks. For example, I'll hook right inside where this adductor muscle comes down <coughs> inside, inside of the leg and this internal quadricep meet. There's a little nerve right in here. Do I see where I'm hitting? And I'll take my toe and I'll just dig it right inside there. Is everybody see what I'm doing? So I'll pop it here and then with the opposite leg, I'll come and whip it up on the outside <coughs> here or I'll pop it here and I'll step in with my heel and I'll catch him on the outside here. Boom. See where I'm hitting? Or I'll go all the way around the leg <coughs> where these two hamstring muscles go up and down the back part of the leg. They're called biceps. Pinpoint a kick right inside there with the heel. Gets the tension here, then step in with my heel all the way around. Boom. Or bring the heel all the way up on the kidney. Boom, make him bow down here or double up. Hit here, then here, then bring the heel all the way up on the kidney, hooking it in. So here we have the medium zone. All your little short range, short range kicks. Sometimes I'll throw a heel right to the groin or I'll throw cutting kicks up on the forearms to try to paralyze the arms. See, so bringing the kick up on an angle, not straight in. Now hold your arms up like this. Keep this angle of striking in mind. When I was a kid, I used to line up in front of the football team and let each one of them take pop shots at my midsection. As long as you throw in a punch or a kick straight into the person's muscle tissue, it's not going to hurt quite as much as if you would come in on an angle. So instead of throwing a punch straight in at someone's midsection, what I would do is catch the abdominal flesh outside on an angle. Does everybody see the angle of the punch? Catch it on an angle here and rip across, tearing that tissue, creating sort of a hemorrhage effect. Same thing I'm doing when I'm striking the person's leg. Instead of bringing the kick straight in on an angle like so, like a karate person, I slice it. See, so trying to tear the tissue. That makes sense, everyone? Yes, sir. So when I'm in close at medium range, same thing on my short range kicks. I'm bringing them up on an angle. Does everybody see the leg comes up on an angle? trying to tear, to tear the person's flesh. In other words, these are what I call paralyzing techniques. I'm not necessarily trying to drop him, but I'm trying to paralyze him so I can follow through with something else. 
Then you get into the inside zone, or what they call the trapping zone. From here, person starts to throw a punch. You may trap it. He comes across with another punch, and you can trap here. And then from here, step in with your own punches, striking the eyes with your fingertips coming out of the neck, or whatever you want to do. This is sort of the Chinese type stuff. Personally, I don't like to fight this way. I like to keep my shoulder always pointed towards my opponent. When you get inside, you want to close your opponent up as much as possible, protecting your chin. Then if I want the strike, does everybody see the shoulder here? Pull that shoulder out, then come in with my punches on the inside. Does everybody see my arms a bit? This is what we call inside punching. These are outside punches. This is inside. Now once you're on the inside, not only can you do your trapping, but you can do all of your grappling movements. You can do come-alongs. For example, a person grabs you or something, take their fingers, if I see what I'm doing, you got two fingers, looping underneath here, bending the arm down, holding two fingers. This is a come-along. I just simply ask them, come along with me. I can go down on two knees, he'll go right along with me. Does everybody see what I mean? These are called come-along techniques.